Today we're going to be talking about five tips for paddling safely. When you're out paddling, whether you're kayaking, stand-up paddling, or canoeing, a Type 3 vest is really comfortable to use. They're a little bit more adjustable, they're more comfortable to wear, and these are inherently buoyant. So when you have them on and are properly fitted, they're the best ones you can have. This is a men's vest. And this one over here is the women's vest. They now have them in different cuts. This is a little bit less foam in the front, a little bit bigger armholes, and more comfortable for women. So this is also a Type 3 life jacket, or PFD, that's a lower profile. This is great for paddling for kayaking, or especially stand-up paddling where you're a little bit more movement-oriented. What makes it a low-profile life vest is that it's a little bit smaller, more compact, flotation in the front and the back, and bigger openings on the side so it's more comfortable to move around. When you're stand-up paddling, another option that you may see people use is a waist belt life jacket. When you're using those, by law, that has to be on the individual at all times. And the best way to wear a PFD or a life jacket is to have it on and properly fitted. This is my own personal life vest that I use for work and every time I go on the water. It is a Type 3 life vest for paddling, for canoeing, kayaking, and stand-up paddling. Let me show you how I put it on. First, I click the waist belt in this inner buckle here. Next, I zip up the front, and then this life vest has six side adjustments, three on each side, and I start pulling forward on each one until it's nice and snug, and the last two are by the shoulders and it pulls down and forward. When the life vest is properly adjusted, it won't come up off my body at all. And remember, life vests don't work if you don't have one on. Sometimes when you're out kayaking, people can capsize. So here's some great rescue equipment that you can use to get you back in the boat. This is a paddle float, which we use for a paddle float self-rescue once you've capsized. The blade of the paddle goes into the float, and then you blow it up through the tube, and that creates a kickstand that'll help you be able to get back into your boat. Once you're back into the boat, this is a bilge pump that can help empty the water out of the boat, and this is a sponge to get even more water out. This is a rescue sling. It's a piece of one-inch tubular webbing. It has also a float so I don't lose it in the water. And basically, I can pull this out and it'll create a stirrup that I can help people get into a kayak or back on a stand-up paddleboard. The next piece of equipment I like to talk about is a tow belt. They're really great if you're out and paddling with a bunch of people and somebody might get a little bit injured or tired or maybe the weather changes and they're having trouble getting back. If somebody has a tow belt, they might be able to assist them getting back to where you started from. Another great piece of safety equipment is flares especially when you're on the water, to have that visual distress aid only to be used in an emergency. And these are not waterproof, so putting it in like a Nalgene bottle will make it very easy to keep it safe while you're on the water. One of the most important things when you're out on the water is to know where you are and know how to get home safely. This is a chart, which is a map that covers water when you're out in the ocean, or else you'd have a map if you're more inland, and also a handheld compass. These are really important for knowing where you are and how to get home. This is a deck-mounted compass, which is great when you're out on the ocean paddling. GPSs are also a really nice tool to use. You have to learn how to use it and look for the ones with the features that you want. This is a handheld GPS, and my watch also has a GPS too. One of the essential items to bring with that group when you're out paddling is a first aid kit. They're great for the unexpected things, from little cuts and scrapes to little bit bumps and bruises. You always want to be prepared. One of the nice things is you could also make your own. I also make sure to put it in a dry bag so it's 100% waterproof when you're out there. It's always great to have some extra essential items. Clothes, so if the weather changes, the wind picks up, or somebody goes in and gets wet, now you have things to make them warm and comfortable. Extra water, food, and a lot of extra sunscreen. Now that you have these tips to keep you paddling safely on the water, I hope to see you out there soon.